Hey everybody. Okay, in today's episode, I'm going to do something that falls into the season. It's going to be a dish called calabaza and tacha. Now this is traditionally served for the Mexican Day of the Dead. Basically, it's a squash that's cooked in syrup, something sweet. And during the Day of the Dead, you have what's known as ofrendas, or altars, in a lot of homes and places. Very colorful. And you have your crucifix, and then you have a little representation, a picture of the person. Some of their favorites, you know, a shot of booze, some of the fruit that they like. Lots of colorful banners and some breads and what have you. And the calabaza as well. And it's not a morbid celebration. You know, people think, well, wow, they're going into the graveyards and they're having a picnic there. It's, it's not that. It's offering hospitality to the dead. And since the veil between this world and the next is a bit blurry at this season, it's not uncommon. So let's go to the kitchen. For calabaza and tacha, we're going to need some butternut squash, some dried oranges, and some cinnamon sticks. So after we've peeled and seeded our gourds, we're going to slice them into 3 inch sections. So here we have some brown sugar. Now traditionally it's piloncillo, but this is what I have. And some local honey. Now both sugars will form the basis of our syrup. So we put both sugars in a pan, and we add some water to it, and we're gonna heat this. As your syrup is heating, stir it occasionally to make sure that all the sugar crystals melt. This helps out with the clarity. Once the sugar crystals have melted, we're going to add some dried oranges and some cinnamon to our syrup. Now this will infuse into the pumpkin and give it a really nice flavor. Once the syrup hits the boiling point, we're going to add our pumpkins and we're going to turn down the heat and cover it. Simple as that. It's important to lower the heat in this case because if you don't, you're just going to disintegrate all the structure of the pumpkin and it'll turn into a pureed mess. So remember, put them in the syrup, lower the heat, and then we cover it and let it go for about half an hour. After the 30 minute mark, we remove the lid, get a slotted spoon and a nice plate, and we're going to scoop out all the solids, pumpkins, oranges, cinnamon, after which, we're gonna turn up the heat and we're gonna reduce down our syrup to concentrate that flavor, make it nice and sticky. So now that the syrup is at a vigorous boil, we're gonna just reduce the volume down to about half. At that point, it's gonna be thick enough and syrupy enough to add to our pumpkins. If you go beyond that, it can burn and get extremely bitter. So just be careful, keep an eye out. So now we put our pumpkin in a plate and we pour the syrup. Now, in keeping with the previous dish, a friend of mine texted me and wanted to know how to make wheat tortillas. And it's in keeping with the season, you could probably find it on an ofrenda, so I decided to make some. Here we go. The first ingredient we're going to need is about 450 grams of flour, followed by about 100 grams of vegetable shortening, and a pinch of salt. And for the wet ingredients, a cup of water with about a tablespoon of milk. We mix until it forms a ball, let it rest for about half an hour, then we roll it out into a log, 
and we're going to cut that in half and section it into little rounds. So we section our dough, roll them into little rounds, we cover it with a towel, and then we wait about 20 minutes. After which, we flatten them out, form them into little round circles, and we're gonna roll them out with a dowel. This is the thickness you want for your tortillas. Less than quarter of an inch for sure, very flexible, has a bit of a shine to it, and it works very, very well. So just take your time, make sure there's enough flour that it doesn't stick to your surface, and then we get ready to cook them. Now we have a cast iron on medium low, and then we slap it right onto the surface. This way ensures it get an even spread and a good adhesion. Touch it a little bit, and then we're gonna wait until we see some bubbles on the surface. That's the indicator that we flip it over. See the bubbles starting to form? Then we'll have little golden flecks. We'll flip them over, and then you have your tortillas all ready to go. Just put them on a plate with a towel and let the steam keep them warm. Hospitality is for both the living and the dead at this time of year. So share, like, and subscribe, and happy Day of the Dead to all of you.